Uh, I started as a graduate assistant at a University of Arkansas, working in with football and women's athletics. Became a head strength coach at University at Fort Valley State University. Um, then I went to the University of the Pacific as a director of athletic performance. Then at Mississippi State as an assistant strength coach, and then I went to Florida State, and I started as a speed development coach, and then um, I became the director of sports science and operations. I came here in 2007. I was in the Mississippi State football staff, and uh, I just remember how beautiful the area was. I was blown away by all the horse farms, and uh, the fans were really awesome. Uh, I, I do remember that experience, that, and that was the first time I ever saw Kentucky. And the second time was when Mark picked me up in Tallahassee on the jet, and we flew in and got to work December 12th. He told me, Eric, I want you to be on my staff. And um, he said, I believe in what, we're, what, what you've been doing here at FSU. And he said, I want to expand the role. Uh, he said, basically, I want, I want you to oversee all aspects of performance and, and really put the high performance model in place in Kentucky because he thought it would separate us. And so when he told me that, I said, I'm on board because uh, I, I believe in Mark, I believe in Coach Stoops' vision, and I believe what we can get done here. Well, uh, the, I heard of the high performance model first in Australia. Um, uh, I went and visited them about three years ago. I was doing some consulting in Australian rules football, and John Quinn, who's the head of the Sydney Giants, he's a sports science director, invited me over there, and I did a little consulting with him, and then we just did a big information exchange. I saw how in, in Australian football and rugby, how they had a position that oversaw the physical, the mental, the technical, and the tactical training loads. So not only was there somebody in charge of developing the physical aspect, but they also also worked very closely with the football coaches to make sure that what they're doing tactically has the appropriate physiological response so that we're not overdoing it or underdoing it and that we can actually reduce injuries and help the athletes perform at their absolute best when it counts. And there's a, there was a whole culture there that was totally different. And it really intrigued me because I always knew that there was more to this than that, than what we have here in the United States. And I'd read about it in Eastern Bloc countries, how they had program managers and sports scientists in place since the 60s. But to actually go see it in action and how fluid everything worked, it, it was a remarkable experience. This is 50 years plus of research and technology and uh, you know there's a reason why a lot of NFL teams are coming to Kentucky right now to find out what we're doing and uh, we got a very intelligent staff put together we have a bunch of very capable people we've actually developed a board on campus with the kinesiology and human performance group and we have professors that we meet with on a weekly basis we're not it's not just in football we're involving the campus and we got people excited on campus and we're using the resources that Kentucky have we're a world-class institution and we're using the resources at our fingertips to help make this football team the best it can be we're bringing things here that nobody's even thought about. And it's not because of me, it's because um, Coach Stoops has given us the opportunity to go out, use information, use knowledge, and make us cutting edge. So we're going to take the talent and the skill level that we have, and we're going to heighten it to its highest capability. And um, we saw a dramatic change my last year at FSU. What we did, we dropped soft tissue injury rates by 90%. We had our guys on the field more, and we won a lot of games. And we know that this is a, we're actually taking it about 20 steps higher here at Kentucky and so Mark's basically taken the lid off the bottle and said let's roll with it so sports as we know is changing forever you know we see ESPN sports science and that fans are starting to get a little bit taste of that they'll see on the sidelines we'll have our athlete tracking units hooked up to the athletes they're gonna see an exciting brand of football but they're also going to know that we're doing everything that we possibly can do we're exhausting every available resource to make sure that we're going to win at the highest level it's not just by chance we're not just rolling the dice we're throwing bullseyes and we're going to elevate our team to the highest possible level it can be elevated you attack it you don't run from it you say how many bring it on i got my sword i'm ready to go and you go attack it everybody understand they, 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 for a while, it took, them, uh, it took them a while to adjust because all they see you as is the person, the taskmaster, the person doing the test, the person asking them to fill out questionnaires, the person doing all the poking and prodding. 
But then when we, we get a chance to interact with them at training table, we get a chance to interact with them in different settings and they realize, hey, we're, we're here because we love them, we care about them, and, and they're starting to get excited. They realize the expectation levels have changed forever. This place is going to go to new heights. That is the expectation and we're going to meet it. And so they can't help but be excited about, about, about that.